in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, one God and man, happy Mother's Day to all moms. It is a great day. Um, and we remember our moms here. Uh, they are the unsung heroes of our life. Whether they are with us or they went with the Lord, we, we remember them and we love them. So I thought that we just... Um, very few thoughts about mothers. Um, the influence of a godly mother. Mothers are great. By nature, they are giving, and by nature, they are sacrificing. But what really makes a mother more influential in the life of her children and of her whole family is being a godly mother. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Um, mothers are the cornerstone of any house, by nature. Um, I was watching a video, it, it's a very funny video, and it's in Arabic, but uh, the lady was saying that, well, God made Eve after Adam because he needed an upgrade. <laughs> That was, yeah, so uh, Eve was really an, uh, a good upgrade to uh, the man. <laughs> um, the influence of a godly mother. Um, number one, um, godly mothers are women of sincere and genuine faith. Um, and we all know that the father is the spiritual head of the house, but yet the mother have great impact on the faith of her children. Um, and the word sincere faith is literally means it is not hypocritical. What the kids see the mom doing and saying in the church, they should, they should also see her doing the same and believing the same and living out her faith the same way at home. So women of sincere faith, devotion, commitment, sacrificial living, uh, um, uh, this is the mother. And uh, Abraham Lincoln said that no man is poor who has a godly mother. And think about that. No man is poor um, who has a godly mother. A godly mother um, really forms and shapes the life of her children. And we, we all owe this to our mothers. Um, godly mothers honor God's word and train their children in it. The best thing you can do and moms can do is to plant the seed of the word of God and the life of their children. We all know uh, the, uh, the, the nights that uh, you, uh, you spend by the bedside of your children, maybe reading stories from the Bible or, re or maybe singing to them, um, um, uh, helping them read and study and love the Word of God. But how this can be? Um, a mother must grow in her own love for God's Word. We can't, and again, if she is a woman of a sincere faith, it means that she, uh, she has, his, has her own spiritual journey and spiritual path with God, and she honors God's word, and she, and, and she, and she loves God's word. And you cannot impart what you do not possess. It is a rule of life. We can't fake it with our children. Our children really are good observers. Uh, they see us and they monitor us and, and, and they see how we act and talk in church versus what we do at home. So um, again, um, and then a godly mother will use God's word to lead her children to salvation. Salvation is the most important task of any family. We uh, focus all our um, our efforts to put them in good schools, get them the best jobs, put them on the right path to prosperity and success. But salvation is the everlasting gift 
that I can give my children? How many of us are really keen on their children receive Jesus Christ as Savior? And again, it is not an automatic um, gift. We receive it by baptism. No, it is a constant way of living and reminding and teaching and leading our children towards salvation. What gain is if, if we put our children in the best schools and they make the most money, but they are not saved? What gain can we have? What joy can we have? So being saved is the most important gift in life that any mom and dad also um, can give. In Timothy, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 3, from childhood you have known the sacred writings which are able to give you the wisdom that leads to salvation. And from childhood, it means that he was reared, he, was, he received the word of salvation. And as moms and dads, we need to pray for our children that God will send them godly people in their lives. Godly mentors, godly friends, godly teachers, godly professors, godly bosses, whomever. We need to pray for our children really hard that God will send godly people in their path. We all have come to Christ because of a godly person that led us to Christ, right? Whether in Sunday school, whether a priest, whether a pastor, whether anyone. So the same, we also need to pray for our children that, that God will send them godly, influential people in their life. Godly husband, godly wife. We sometimes pray that God will send my children a beautiful wife, a rich husband. But <laughs> how about we pray for a godly spouse? God send my son a godly uh, woman that he would love. God send my daughter a godly man who will honor her and, and, and who will protect her. This is the task of the parents, moms and dads. But because our focus today is on the moms, yes, moms are great assets in our life, the, one of the greatest. The next video is uh, a, a, a very nice video to just give tribute to the godly mothers and to the unsung heroes that we have every day and we, we really do not... Uh, right there's the heartbeat. <laughs> do you have any kids? Three, actually. Wow, that sounds crazy. <sighs> crazy? In the best way possible. <laughs> So what's it like being a mom? Mom, I ain't feeling too good. Oh no, it's okay sugar bear, let's just go ahead. Sorry mom. Oh, it's okay sweetie. Next time, we'll just run to the <laughs> washer. Why are you watching me sleep? Because you're my baby boy, and I love you. It's still creepy, Mom. You're grounded for the rest of your life, yes. Yes, it does. So in the future, 
you and I can just refer to it as the monthly visitor. Stupid. Why am I so stupid? Uh, what did you just say to my son? What? My son is not stupid. My son is smart. He was formed by God's hands. He was dreamed up by his heart. And he was placed in this world with a purpose. You, my son, could never be stupid. Mom would never do something like that. She's way too predictable. I know, right? <laughs> How's that for predictable? Nostradamus. There's so much to do. The summer's gonna go by so fast, and, and we still have to pick out my dorm room furniture. Oh, so down. What? Maybe I'm not ready to let you go yet. Mom. Yes, Mom. <laughs> That's who I am. Is it so bad that I just wanna take care of you forever? You already have. Everything you've done for me, everything you've taught me, I'll take it with me wherever I go. You have taken care of me for life. So what's it like being a mom? How much time you got? <laughs> <laughs>